Have you ever been programming in C and you've wondered how multi-function projects work, like where you have multiple source files and um, you include a library and need to link it? Have you ever wondered how that works? Well, I'm going to explain that now. So I'm going to create a directory called linking. Uh, and let me create uh, three C files, a.c, b.c, and c.c. I'm going to go into a.c and I'm going to make a function. I'm going to say int main void return zero. Just a simple main function. I'll also include stdio.h and I'll print something. All right, so as you would expect, if I then compile a uh, .c and run it, I get hello world. So now let me make two other functions. I'm gonna go into b.c and I'm gonna create a function, int add or int math rather. I'll just, I'll make this generic, int lhs, int rhs, and this will return LHS plus RHS. And then I'll go into C.C and I'll make an almost identical function. But instead of plus, I'll do times. Okay, so why did I do that? I did that because I want to illustrate how libraries and linking work. So I'm going to compile these as object files. I'm going to do gcc tac o b dot o dash c for just compile, no linking into a final executable, just compiling, b dot c. I'm going to do the same with c dot c, and boom. Now I have these two object files, and they both have a function called math that take the same parameter types and return the same type. Um, now I'm going to remove a and I'm going to go into a.c and I'm going to define this function prototype called math and basically I'm making a promise to the compiler that this function is available in this file uh, during the link phase and that's why you get linker errors sometimes is because the compiler is hoping that this function is available, but when it passes things to the linker step, which is pretty much the last step of compilation, uh, this is where stuff might fail. Um, so now if I compile this into an object file, so a.o-c a.c, so this is the main executable, I'm gonna compile the other, or wait, I already did that. So, okay. Now I have these three object files. Now what I'm going to do is link them together into a final executable called like main, or I'll call it a exe executable. Why not? Uh, and I'm going to do all the O files, object files. And okay, so I actually, so the reason I'm getting this linker error is because b.o and c.o actually both define math. So I'm just, uh, I'm only gonna link one of them. So I'm gonna do a.o and b.o. And now you can see that executable runs just fine because I fulfilled that compiler promise. Now let me go back into a.c and let me actually use this math function. I'm gonna do um, int or const int lhs equals um, one or actually two const int LHS uh, RHS equals four and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna print them all out so LHS RHS and then result um, like that so LHS RHS and then I'm going to pass them to this function and when I recompile this, uh, so a.o, a.c, and then I relink everything, 
a.o, b.o. If I then run this, I get this. I get 2 plus 4 is 6. Now let me instead, instead of linking b.o, I'll link c.o. Now if I run this, I get 2 times 4 is 8. That is, in a nutshell, how linking works. Now, why do you need to include a header file? Well, so in C, all include is is basically just copying and pasting the contents of a file into where you're including it. So if I create a math.h, or actually that might collide. So I'll create um, mathfunk.h, and then I'll set it up as a, a normal C header file. So what I'm creating here is a header guard. This just makes sure that if the header file is found multiple times, the contents of it is not pasted multiple times. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll put the uh, function prototype in here, just like this. And what I'll do to make sure that I'm implementing this function correctly on both the library and the uh, program side, what I'm going to do is include the header file in both the library and the program. So if I go into b.c, uh, I'm going to include mathfunk.h. Essentially what this uh, does is it enforces this function prototype. So if I add another thing, now I'm going to get an error because the function prototype and the function implementation do not match in the same translation file. Again, this is just copying and pasting the contents of this file into here. Um, now I'm going to go into c.c and I'm going to do the same thing. mathfunk.h. Now I'm going to go into a.c and I can remove this prototype because by including mathfunk.h, I essentially write that prototype, but I'm doing it via the library instead of manually. So that's how libraries in C work. And uh, I can just recompile everything to show you guys. a.o c a.c. Also, sorry if you can hear a lawnmower. I can't control that, but I really wanted to make a video, so. Um, all right, so now I'm going to link everything again. So executable, um, I want to do a.o, since that actually has my main function in it, and the linker wants a main function in order to make a program. Uh, I'm going to need b.o, so this would be the add implementation, like that. I can do c.o instead, and boom. So yeah, that's linking in a nutshell. I hope you guys found this video useful. Um, I know a lot of people have been frustrated with um, this when it comes to developing stuff in C, but I hope this video clarified things. Um, and yeah, I've been Oglo the Nerd. If you have any more questions, uh, links down in the description to my website, which also has a link to my Discord server if you want to ask me directly. Um, and yeah, so I will see you all a next time. Bye-bye.